is, guys. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. I never in a million years thought that I would ever make a video telling you guys this story. Because it is embarrassing, dude. This one hurts. This ain't clickbait. This ain't jokes. This ain't cleverly worded titling. I lost it all. I had a quarter million dollars saved up and I lost everything every single penny of it. Now, in order to soften the blow to my ego, we go watch a video of another YouTuber losing $10 million in one stream, $10 million. And after we get done watching this video, I'm gonna tell you guys my story about how I lost all my money in savings, bro. Quarter million dollars is nowhere near as much as $10 million, but that's everything I had, bro. And I'd been saving up for years, dude. Lost it all, bro. So we're gonna get into the video. This is gonna be kind of therapy for me because I've told nobody this. You guys are the first people I've ever told. My mama don't know this story. My brothers, no one, no women I've dated, nobody knows this story, bro. I took it on the chin like a man, but that shit hurt, bro. I was slumped for like two days after that, bro, which ain't that long, given I'd lost everything. But, you know, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'll just have to, you know, start playing poker again and make it all back. Online gambling highlights. Welcome back to another online gambling highlight guys let me just start this video off by saying I am not a train wrecks TV hater I do not hate him I'm not what you would call a hate watcher I love train wrecks TV he actually happens to be my favorite hand. gambler to watch at the moment I wish him all the best I hope his next stream he gets three max wins in a row I feel he deserves it but when something of this magnitude happens I feel it's very important to show it I don't think something like this can be or should be forgotten about if you don't know of train Rex tv he streams live on twitch and his streams are pretty epic he goes live and gambles for about 30 hours straight sometimes longer the longest well, i've seen him bonus, go for was bonus, about bonus, 44 bitch. hours so you can imagine it gets pretty crazy what? lately he's been keeping track of his deposits every time he runs out of money in his balance and he has to deposit more you can see right above his camera in blue text, that's what he needs to break even. So at this point, he's about 12 hours into his stream and he's down about $6.9 million. And it's at this point, he's getting pretty far down and actually decides to take that off the screen, how much he's down. And like I said, something at this magnitude should be shown because if he takes that awesome. down, and then he hits for say about $5 million, no you know, it's gonna be like, oh my God, he just won $5 million. Yeah, but he Dude, spent about 7 million to thing. get that. So, you know, that should be shown. So you understand? Anyways, in this video, we're gonna follow the journey of exactly how much he loses this stream only for the sake of, I think it's very important to show the bad days as well as the good. So here he's about, about runs out of money in a balance. He's down 6.9. And like I said, he did. He, this is what we're doing, boys. For an emote only. This thing's coming down for a sec until we can rebuild a little bit because this shit's embarrassing. Yeah, Six. he decides to take the 6.9 down. I kind of don't blame him, but. So. All right. He deposits about, on, we'll guys. say, 375. What? So we'll follow from here, 6.9 plus 375. We'll have it up on screen. We're gonna jump forward. So after about an hour, hour and a half of gambling going up and down, he ends up losing that balance and he's waiting for another deposit here. It ends up coming through. Yeah, that's Bitcoin. Oh, there we go. There it is. We'll say just for the sake of, you know, keeping it nice and simple, we'll say about 340. We'll say he deposited about 340. We'll put the new balance or the new figure on screen of how much that makes him down. This makes me feel so much better about the dumb shit I did to lose all of my money. Get that money to me, bro! No, I can do it $350,000! Give me the money, bro! I need the money! No, hold on. <laughs> and uh, we'll fast forward and I'll see you guys in the next deposit. So he actually gets about two hours 
of gambling out of that balance. He waits for another one. It just comes through. Uh, you can see down there the credit. He gets, we'll say, 500000 So that brings him up to a little over $8 million, about eight point one. We'll see how long he gets out of this balance. What? and. Uh, We'll skip forward, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Come on, so money. he got about two hours of play out of that balance, and again, he's waiting for another deposit. What? Just comes through. We'll round it up. We'll say about two hundred and fifty thousand. I'll see you guys in the next one. He loses that balance, and uh, again, he's waiting for another deposit. He steps away. Um, it doesn't refresh when you're on a slot. You got to go back to the main page. His deposit actually came in. We're going to round it to about 200,000. We're going to see how long he gets to play out of this one. And we're going to skip ahead, guys. So that balance actually lasted him a few hours. He ends up getting like a $400,000 win. He works his balance up to like 600,000. Ends up losing it all. Here he is waiting for another deposit. It's about to come through. What? Which will be, we'll see how Why? much. We'll say about f another five hundred thousand dollar deposit. Why? Which at this point he's a little over nine million dollars down. We're gonna see how long Why? he gets out of this one, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. This is actually it, dude. I'm After really this, about I to cry, even... bro. What are you doing? I look at gambling ever again. I After can this. use that money, him. bro. No, he's uh he's over wait. nine million dollars down right now, and there you go. I'm really another the real Another about six hundred thousand dollars deposited what here. Are you doing, bro? No, bro, this is counterproductive. So I mean, we'll see how much. I got bills. We'll see if he can make a turn around here. But I was already far down, prod before today. What are you doing? This is like where I'm at now. Is like I'm at a point where like I gotta do something today, or like I like there there is no even short term coming back. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck long-term gambling. Short-term, there's no recovery. It's just nuts, because, like, you literally have half a good day ever, and then it's just back to the normal shit, man. I need to do something today, otherwise... Yeah, like, stop I, gambling! I, I, I'm, I, I'm, like, I'm so close Bro! to just losing my, like... It's just... It's the reality of gambling here. Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna skip four. We'll see. Uh, Please clutch up and get us. We'll sing. see where this leads us. So, surprise, surprise! He loses oh, that like balance. Oh wow! Rolls going up. We're gonna see how yeah. much he deposits now. No! At this point, he needs a, a another six hundred thousand dollars. Modern electrical. What are you Bonus? Doing? Bonus? No! He Bonus needs fish. a max win right here <laughs> just to break even. <laughs> This, this is so bad. I'm being honest, trade wrecks, dude. Trade wrecks, save the money. All right, guys, we're going to see if you can make a turnaround. I mean, Bro. $10 million. How do you. Okay, so look, to all my three or four females that are watching this, you need to find train wrecks. Matter of fact, no, first you need to find me, okay? And then I'm going to tell you exactly how to trick train wrecks into thinking that you're wifey material. After that, all you got to do is just smash him so hard and tell him you love him so much that he doesn't want to get a prenup. If he's gambling $10 million in one stream, how much money has he got for $10 million? I'll put on a wig, bro. I'll be a wife. I'm down to get wiped up for $10 million. I've done way worse for way less. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh. Hey. Turn that around. Right. I don't know. Because I feel like I have no clue how much you lost on it, but I feel like you feel like it owes you. I just don't think this game is going to do shit. All right, let's keep going. Stop! So, no surprise, he ends up losing that balance. He actually deposits another 700000 That brings Stop! him up to, oh, wow. I think, just wow. under $11 million deposited today. Hey, God, uh, he God, just got a nice damn. little hit here. God, All right, guys. God, we're back God. to where we need to be. Now we're only a cool 9,000x away. Come on, baby. Everyone mm. stay optimistic. 9,000x would be a $9 million win. No! All we need is a 9,000x to break even, baby. Come on, just for today. I think he actually needs Everyone a little bit more cool. than 9,000x. Let's get in, guys. Positivity. Fuck yeah. Hey. 
<laughs> no. I like the sarcasm here. Twenty-two hundred dollars. So, it's no surprise, guys. He ends up losing this balance and ends stream. Oh, thanks so um, much. Why don't you uh, put a wild right here, or why don't you uh, give us a re fucking trig? So yes. I think he actually ends up losing about eleven million dollars this Please. stream. Please give us three. Yes. Yes. All right. Which I mean, I think it's very important to to see these kind of losses, man. You know, you got these millionaires gambling on stream. You know, and a lot of them like to show you only their big wins and stuff like that. It makes you yeah, want to gamble, three but three one more time. This has got to be the worst day of gambling he's ever had. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. He's losing millions of dollars! Well, I need this! Send the money to me! You know, you got to show people the wins as well as the I'm losses. I'm really you know, starting to cry! Wild, baby. Come on, you got this. Ah, well, you got that's going to do it, though, guys. Yeah, Raw, you got this. This, this was the journey of... of Trainwrecks TV losing $11 million dollars in one stream. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This nigga just lost my whole life worth of money. God damn it. No. What the fuck? I lost everything, bro. I lost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and that seems like pennies and nickels in a bucket after watching this dude lose eleven million dollars. Okay, so look, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Look, so, so this is what happened. Y'all ever heard of a DAO? A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. I had two hundred and fifty grand, man. It was all my life savings, bro. You know what I mean? This was like two years ago, I think. I think it was like two years ago. I had a quarter of a million dollars in my savings. Cause you guys already know I play poker for a living. I've been having a pretty good couple of years or whatever. Now, if you're gonna play poker for a living, what's really important to understand is you have to have a bankroll, and you can only play as big and as comfortably as your bankroll will allow it. So I had a bankroll of a quarter of million dollars i had been playing consistently over the last past like eight to ten years and i got my bankroll up to 250k and then i learned about cryptocurrency so i learned about crypto i learned about bitcoin and i got into i got into bitcoin and i invested like all of the 250k into bitcoin now apparently i must have put it in at the right time or i was smart about choosing when i put it in because it went from 250k up to like 660K. So I had tripled my money damn near, right? Using it with Bitcoin. So after tripling the money in Bitcoin, you know, I'm riding high. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. I'm smart. I know stuff. And it's at that point that I learned what a decentralized autonomous organization was. Now, what a DAO is supposed to do is you put your money in and they use your money and they turn it into their cryptocurrency, which keeps making more cryptocurrencies. You're promised that if you put your money in to make more of their cryptocurrency, your money grows they make money everyone makes money i did a bunch of research on dials and i looked at how people were making profits and doubling and tripling their money so in my mind i'm like bro if i could just double or triple my money i'm good double triple my money take the original investment out and then leave like a meal in there that's grown already and then just play with house money and then take off a bit every week or every other day or whatever i put the 660 in there bro and it grew up to maybe about 700k bitcoin went from 65k all the way like to 20k and when bitcoin did that everything went off the deep end yo i had put all of my money in galaxy goggle all 660k of it all into galaxy goggle it was the dao with the most potential in my eyes i went looked at their plan i did research on their devs I did about a month of worth of research, about three hours of research every single day to make sure that it was a good idea. And that just goes to show you that no matter how much research you do, only put in what you can afford to lose. I wish I'd have only put in maybe like 30K. That would have been a fine loss off of 660, but bro, I put the whole thing in because in my brain, I'm like, bro, I'm about to be rich because putting that amount of money in within like a year or whatever, having all my money in that DAO, my 660 would have turned into like $660 million, bro. 
And I'm just like, bro, I'm going to be set. My family going to be set. I can get my mama whatever she want. I can buy all my family members houses and cars. And I'll be, we'll all be set for the rest of our lives. You know what I'm saying? Now, my intentions were good because I did this so I could take care of all of my family members because I am the person that takes care of all of my family members right now. I figured if I could just hit this lick, then I wouldn't have to worry about money and taking care of all my family members no more. I could just take care of all of my family members for the rest of our lives. We'll be fine. I remember like it was yesterday. I joined the Discord. I'm talking to these people and they're all hyping me up. Yeah, put more money in, yeah. I put all the money in, everyone's cheering me on. Yeah, bro, yeah, thanks, brother. Yeah, awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was going good for like a week. I went to sleep one day, bro. I woke up, my $660,000 turned into a little bit over $6,000, bro. $660,000 into $6,000, bro. Everything gone. It is what it is. I took it on the chin. I ain't trip. I ain't break nothing. I ain't throw a temper tantrum. I ain't do none of that. I just ate it. Luckily enough for me, like the way I grew up, getting stabbed, all the getting jumped, the fights, all the crazy stuff, going through stuff with crazy women, losing 660K, it sucked, but it wasn't enough to bring me anywhere near my breaking point. You know, it's really funny. I be starting to think, I be, I be thinking like, bro, what am I made of, bro? Losing $660,000 is monumentally terrifying for me, but it still wasn't enough to break me. I had heart pains like Gabrielle Union just broke up with me or some shit. Worse than when dudes have pulled guns on me. Worse than when I was hollering at that one girl on Maryland Parkway in Tropicana at the Burger King only to find out after talking to her for about 30 seconds that she was a full-blown man out this bitch. You know what I mean? Worse than that! But I say that to say this. Do not invest your money in cryptocurrency. If you are going to invest your money in cryptocurrency, only use, only put in 10% of what you have. 5% even. Technically, it's gambling, which sucks because I would never put that amount of money in a poker game or on the craps table, or in any form of actual gambling, you know what I'm saying? I would never take that money to a casino. Just be careful, y'all, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Don't be out here just throwing your money around all willy-nilly, you know what I mean? If it looks like it's too good to be true, it usually is. It always is, bro, you know what I mean? If you wanna, if you wanna get a whole bunch of money, bro, you gotta just bust your ass and work insanely hard and it'll come to you sooner or later. That's a PhD story time for your ass. Make sure to be really careful when investing in stuff, man. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. This is your boy Blasphemous HD. And remember, folks, do as I say, not as I do. Twizzles.